Okay, thanks everyone. Uh, before we get started, I want to welcome you all. There's uh, there's a, a lot of faces and a lot of names out there that that deserve some thanks. So I want to start off by thanking my uh, commissioners. We got uh, Commissioner President Mark Anderson. We got Commissioner Jim Moran and Commissioner Jack Wilson up here. I see Commissioner Steve Wilson and Commissioner Robert Bucky in the background. So I want to thank them for making this day possible. I want to thank our delegation who is here. Uh, <clears throat> Senator Steve Hershey and Delegate Steve Aarons and Jay Jacobs and Steve Delegate Aarons was Commissioner Aarons when this project was going on, so I want to thank him for his help. We have a couple former commissioners, uh, Commissioner Phil, former Commissioner Phil Dumanel. I saw Carol Ferdonsky earlier. There she is. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone else, any other former commissioners are here or not. So, and we've got some town folks I'd like to thank. Uh, Tim McCluskey is here and Jim Beecham and Steve Walls, the uh, town manager. And I see Lance Richardson standing in the background. Lance, thanks for coming out. Uh, with further, without further ado, we will get started. If I could get everyone to stand, and we will uh, I'll lead you in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're going to get started right away, so I'm with. I'm going to turn this over to our Commission President, Mark Anderson, who has a few remarks. Mark? Okay, thank you. What a glorious day uh, we got for this memorable moment. Uh, on behalf of my fellow commissioners, I would like to thank you for coming out on this glorious summer day. We're excited about the, the construction of the new courthouse which, as I'm sure Scotty will tell you, was over 200 years in the coming. Uh, we're standing on the site of uh, the new uh, Circuit Courthouse facility, which will be approximately 42,000 square feet on two levels, will accommodate two full-service courtrooms, one master's courtroom, one family service center, two detention areas with a comprehensive security measures employed. Uh, both the building and the grounds will be in full compliance with ADA requirements and regulations. The project was years in the making and spanned three separate county administrations from land purchase to architectural plans and now finally the beginning of the construction. I would like to thank the previous administrations that helped shepherd this project through those uh, fundamental years. I would also like to thank the Courthouse Citizens Committee, many of whom are here today. Uh, please stand, wave your hand, uh, let us see who you are. This is the group that went through all of the uh, plans, all of the input, and uh, the revisions which uh, resulted in uh, the plan that uh, we're going to see built uh, on this site. The main entrance and front elevation are d designed with a blend of brick and limestone to replicate historic and charming character of the existing courthouse and the town of Centerville. At this time, I'd like to thank uh, the Centerville Town Council and Centerville Planning Commission for their help on this project, as it'll be much a part of their future as it will be ours. As mentioned earlier, this new courthouse is replacing the existing courthouse that was built during the presidency of George Washington between 1792 and 1794 at some 224 uh, years ago. Uh, I'm led to believe that it's the one of the oldest still serving courthouses certainly in Maryland if not the country. Uh, just a few notes on uh, costs and schedule. The construction uh, contract value is $19,395,694. The architect, buyer, Blinder Bell. Mullen Con Contracting Company is the contractor who will be doing the building. The contract was awarded on June the 22nd, 2016. The notice to proceed that, oh yeah, okay, the NPT, uh, issued on August the 1st, 2016. The project duration, this is not going to be accomplished uh, tomorrow, 
uh, we're looking at 640 calendar days for substantial completion. Substantial completion is targeted for May 2nd, 2018. Uh, we expect to be fully functional here uh, late fall 2018. Finally, I'd like to thank our Department of Public Works staff, especially Director Todd Mon and Engineer David Rabinek for their hard work on this project. So we're also looking forward to seeing you all back here in a little more two years for a ribbon cutting. Uh, memorable day, memorable group of people. Uh, let's get on with the show. Okay, thank you, Mark. Uh, Mark did mention the uh, uh, courthouse committee and Nick Deotis, who was the uh, chair of that committee, is here, and Charlie Rhodes is here, and Mr. Keating's outside. So I see him. I don't know if there's any anyone else from the committee wants to raise their hand and wave. We uh, thank them for all their hard work on that. Next, we're going to hear from the Honorable Judge Ross. Judge. Thank you, and thank you all for coming out. I mean. Can you get a more glorious day than today? I mean, nothing's going to rain on this parade, right? Uh, the last groundbreaking for a courthouse in Queen Anne's County was 225 years ago. Um, to put that in some context, George Washington was in his first term as president. The United States Constitution was less than five years old. When it comes to historical courthouses, Queen Anne's County has no peer. Years ago, I was told that the courthouse was the sixth oldest in continuous use in the United States and the oldest in the state of Maryland. But that is only part of the story. Um, the fact of the matter is that three of those five older courthouses are ancillary to new courthouses. One has been renovated and one is one of several court buildings, and only one remains as the sole courthouse for the county. I've also been informed that the courthouse in Queenstown, circa 1708, is the oldest courthouse of any kind in the nation. As impressive as this history is, the new courthouse comes at a propitious moment. As of July 18th, last month, a revolutionary step was taken as the electronic court system began in Queen Anne's County. No longer can attorneys file paper with the clerk. Instead, they must transmit digital documents over the internet. The court docketing and signing of orders is done online. The new courthouse will be a state-of-the-art facility. One of the top architectural firms in the country designed the courthouse. The administrative office of the courts will assure that we have all the technological innovations necessary to run the electronic system. To get to this point, many strong leaders have lent their support over the past more than a decade. You know who you are, and it's difficult to mention names but there are a few that I must. Chief Judge Bell and Chief Judge Barbera have always been supportive. State Court Administrators Frank Broccolina and Pam Harris, who's here today and is a resident of Queen Anne's County, uh, have been extremely supportive as well. Frank Crowdeville, State's Attorney, Congressman, and now District Court Judge. The County Commissioners, 23 by my count since I took the bench. And in particular, I must mention uh, Delegate former Commissioner Steve Arents and Commissioner Jim Moran. The town commissioners, the members of the Queen Anne's County Bar Association, Association uh, particularly local lawyers Chris Drummond, Tom Kading, and the late Jim Baldwin. The state's attorney, uh, Lance Richardson, the sheriff, Sheriff Hoffman, the county administrators from Mark Belton to Greg Todd. The Department of Public Works and its head, Todd, Todd Mon, and formerly Steve Walls, now the town manager. The Courthouse Committee, chaired by Nick Deotis for more than 10 years. The committee that worked tirelessly and regularly with the architects. Uh, Dave Remenek, who led that. Commissioner Moran, Sergeant Phil English. The other members of the court executive team. The clerk who you'll hear from, Scott McGlashan the Deputy Clerk Catherine Hager, and Sandy Smith, our Court Administrator. And last, but in no means least, the members of the clerk staff, my staff, the Sheriff's Office, who have had to work in conditions that are often trying and overall dysfunctional. <coughs> the judiciary has no power of the purse. 
It is a difficult financial determination because courts generate little revenue. Building this courthouse at this time is the right thing to do. The administrative administration of justice in Queen Anne's County and the citizens of this county will be well served by this facility for many years to come. I congratulate those who had the foresight and the will to make this happen. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Uh, moving right along, we have Scotty McGlashan. Scott? Thank you, Greg. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, let me first off, thank you, Mother, for coming today. And her husband, Blue, and my wife, Carolyn. On June 1st, 1796, it was so ordered that the icon of Queen Anne's County that still stands and operates on your courthouse square was taken, held and deemed to be a proper courthouse for Queen Anne's County. Just stop and think, that was less than a decade from the ratification of our federal constitution. As His Honor Judge Ross reminds us often and has been said earlier, George Washington was President of the United States. So it was stated in the 18th century, just across the street from where we stand today. And from that century through the 19th, 20th, and now the 21st century, much has changed in what our forefathers fought and died for. Our forefathers' principle of three branches of government continues to be the envy of the world, regardless of the challenges already faced to include those challenges ahead of us. What is said here today, little if anything, will be remembered but let us take the opportunity to simply say thank you to so many that have made today possible, not only as your elected clerk of court, but me as one proud Queen Anne's County citizen. There are many to thank, and the time does not permit me to mention each and every one of you, many of you attending today and it have been mentioned, but trust, we know who you are. First, I want to thank and recognize the county commissioners who as our elected officials are legal custodians of your, capital Y-O-U-R, your courthouse, as we break ground here today. Let me, let me quickly say we owe so much to our former county commissioners also, as this courthouse is not a new dream, but one that's been in various stages of planning even before I was elected in 1994. Those, those citizen politicians that now include our current commissioners saw the need for what your court must provide, must provide access to justice, and thus public trust and confidence. I also want to recognize and, and the support of the Chief Judge of the Court of Appeals in Annapolis, the Honorable Mary Ellen Barbera. At her right hand and with us today is our most capable state court administrator, Ms. Pamela Harris. Pam, please stand and be recognized, please. She, along with Chief Judge, continues to provide your court with untold resources that we could not operate without. Pam, again, thank you. Let me publicly thank the town of Centerville, our county seat, and its commissioners that have been and continue to be most supportive and a vital part of this project. Thank you, Centerville. All of our county commissioners past and present could not begin to provide the support services to each of us if it were not for the most capable dedication of county employees, managed by the most capable county administrator, Mr. Greg Todd, and especially our department Public Works Head, Mr. Todd Mon, and also the talents of Mr. David Remenick. Thank you, gentlemen, <laughs> thank you. Additionally, on behalf, of, uh, on behalf of both our commissioners and the court, I, we personally want to thank all the citizens who over the years have served on the courthouse committee. You know who you are, and I especially want to recognize two individuals who made today possible, and I know there are many others. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick Diotis chaired this committee from the beginning, and frankly, Nick, without your foresight and dedication, I don't think we'd be standing here today. Thank you, Nick. There have also been previous elected commissioners who have made today possible, but the push to cross the finish line was made possible by current commissioner Jim Moran. His leadership in recognition of a most vital need, not a want, a need, should not go unnoticed. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Let me close by saying let generations that follow us recognize and appreciate what we start here today, especially as they will quickly be able to recognize the symbol of our national bird, the American Eagle, that will continue to stand guard in the pediment of both 
this new courthouse and the current historical icon across the street. May God bless Queen Anne's County, ladies and gentlemen. May God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate it. Okay, it's time for some pictures. We've got 20 shovels and a lot of dirt. So we've got, uh, we can do a couple. Oh, I see uh, former Commissioner Eric Wargatz is here. Dr. Wargatz, thanks for coming. So if we want to go ahead and start lining up, uh, we can get current commissioners first and some, our delegation, maybe some past commissioners. Like I said, we got 20 shovels, so head on over there. Everybody ready over here? All right, one, two, three, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Okay, thank you everyone. If anyone else wants to get a picture, you can go on and get a picture.